Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing the 2023 top 10s and this is going to be on my number nine super welterweight in the world right now at 154 pounds, Michel Soro of France. Now before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So the 36 year old Michel Soro wasn't right coming into the year. Um, but he was sitting right there on, you know, on the bubble, even though I didn't officially have it on the bubble, um, at, the, you know, starting 2023 at the end of 22, but Michelle Soro was right there in the mix after he had, uh, taken, um, uh, Magomed Kurbanov, I believe it was Kurbanov. No, he took, uh, Ishmael Madrimov to, um, I think two close fights. I think the first fight uh, was ended in a controversial technical draw and then the second fight ended in favor of um, uh, a, a controversial stoppage win for Madrimov um, and both instances there was controversy and uh, Michelle Soro was at the you know was at the on the wrong side of it but then he took on uh, Magomed Kurbanov this year and suffered a close split decision defeat so Two years in a row, he's been on the bad side of very close fights against guys that aren't top 10 guys in my book. And Michel Soro, you know, at 36, is still a legitimate contender. He's number eight in the WBA right now. Um, uh, overall, 35, four and two with 24 knockouts. This isn't gonna be a guy that's rushed to the front of the line for a shot, but what I do like about, about him is that he's tough. He really is tough. And um, he's willing to fight anybody. And I hope he gets an opportunity against somebody because he deserves it, you know? Somebody in the WBA rankings, maybe Yoannis Telez, you know, or, um, or or Virgil Ortiz Jr. Somebody should should invite him over for an eliminator and take him on. I think Virgil Ortiz Jr. would be huge because Virgil Ortiz is in the WBA rankings. He's number three, and he's going to be looking for an opportunity to move up anyways and fight so why not fight a a solid former world title challenger michelle soro who's been in the ring with brian castaño and a bunch of different fighters i think that makes a ton of sense and i hope um michelle soro gets some kind of opportunity in 2024 because he's really deserving of it so that's pretty much our do i think he's going to finish in the top 10 at the end of the year sadly i don't i think he's either going to run into somebody a uh, young that's good that's gonna beat him or he's not gonna get an opportunity at all and he's just gonna fall out of the top 10 by either fighting nobody's um, or not fighting at all so that's my opinion on um, on him and uh, that's it that's my 2023 top 10 on my number nine super welterweight in the world right now at 154 pounds the former world title challenger Michel Soro of France I hope you enjoyed the video if you did Smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.